Chairman Birdwell, members of the committee, my name is Roberto Lopez, and I'm an advocacy manager with the Texas Civil Rights Project. I'm also from the Rio Grande Valley. I'm here to express the Texas Civil Rights Project's strong opposition to House Bill 4. HB 4 creates a Texas version of Title 8 U.S. Code Sections 1325 and 1326, or federal improper entry and, and reentry charges, though I know that, that some of this has been adjusted. The Trump administration used this type of scheme to rip babies from their parents' arms. Even if unintended, HB 4 will lead to arrests of U.S. citizens. Despite the federal government's vast resources and expertise, a 2021 U.S. Government Accountability Office report found that between 2015 and 2020 alone, federal immigration authorities arrested nearly 700 potential U.S. citizens, removing up to 70 of them. This is a conservative estimate. Not all false, account, false arrests are accounted for. In December 2022, a U.S. citizen received a $150,000 settlement after being detained for over a month by federal immigration authorities a potential liability that Texas taxpayers will also face if this bill is enacted. If the U.S. government, with all of its resources, is profiling and arresting citizens by the hundreds, you can bet Texas will too. Senators, we must try something other than criminalizing migrants year after year. Where are the bills to expand processing at ports of entry so asylum seekers are not forced to cross the river and enter without inspection illegally? Texas seems so happy to play customs and border protection. What about the other half of that job? Processing folks so they can enter legally. Instead, we're seeing bills that threaten to target migrants and Texans alike. We're asking officers to become immigration experts overnight and to make extremely complicated citizenship determinations in the field. We're setting ticking time bombs for family separation. I want to just also address something on the language of probable cause. Y'all are, you know, the way that you're talking about it, you're making it seem as if every officer is perfect, as if every magistrate is perfect. There have been hundreds of cases that have gone past the magistration phase where the affidavits have been thrown out because they are faulty. Probable cause is only a protection if you actually have the resources to fight it. Most migrants, most poor people in the state of Texas do not have the resources to fight faulty probable cause. Thank you for the your Texas comments. Civil Rights Project urges you to vote no. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for your comments.